Welcome back. You're joining me for our final section, Searching Models with Laravel Scout. In this section, we'll begin by configuring Laravel Scout and choosing a driver. Since Laravel Scout no longer supports Elasticsearch by default, we'll have to choose an open source community package to provide the ability to interact with our Elasticsearch server. Next, we'll configure our models. We'll create a new model, a migration, a sample data seeder, and we'll get everything ready for searching our data in our Laravel application. Next, we'll build a search page with a view that accepts queries for our model. We'll write code in a controller that performs a search on our model and returns the results back to that view. Finally, we'll build an advanced search page. We'll add upon the search page that we built in the last video by adding advanced search functionality, as well as pagination and other improvements to our search page. In this video, we're going to take a look at configuring Laravel Scout and choosing a driver. In the video, we'll choose an open source Laravel Scout driver for Elasticsearch. Since, as I mentioned, Elasticsearch is no longer supported by default in Laravel Scout, we'll install that Laravel Scout driver and we'll make all the necessary configurations to get it running in our Laravel application. Let's dive into the code and get started. In order to use Laravel Scout with Elasticsearch, we're going to have to use a third-party open-source Laravel Scout driver for Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch used to be supported by Laravel Scout when it was first released, but it's no longer officially supported by the Laravel team, so we'll need to use an open-source driver in order to use the Elasticsearch functionality. I've headed to GitHub. I'm at the Laravel Scout Elastic project by Eric Tomeo. This is the driver that we're going to use in this video. So what we're going to do now is head over to our Sublime, where we'll update our composer and everything we need to do to get this driver installed into our Laravel project. So let's head over. Back in Sublime, I'm going to need to open my Elasticsearch composer.json file. This is where we set up all of our other dependencies in the installation and setup videos. What we'll need to do is add one more dependency to our require section so that we can use this Laravel Scout Elasticsearch driver. In order to do this, I'm going to paste it in, and put a comma after Rooflin Elastica, and we'll install Tomeo slash Laravel Scout Elasticsearch at caret 3.0. So that's the version that we want to keep this locked to. What we'll need to do is save this file and head over to our terminal. I'm back in my terminal. You can see I'm at my homestead virtual machine. You want a Vagrant SSH into the virtual machine, this is not already where you're running all your terminal commands. I'll head to the code directory that we have mapped into our virtual machine and cd into my Elasticsearch directory. Here, I'm going to run the composer update command to read the changes that I've made to my composer file, install the new Tomeo Laravel Scout Elasticsearch package, and get my composer all set up so we've got all the required vendor libraries. Back in Sublime, now that we've got our package installed, we'll need to open the config slash app.php file in our Laravel project. And we'll want to find where we already installed the Laravel Scout service provider in the setup video. We'll scroll down there. Here we can see on line 170 I have Laravel Scout, Scout service provider. Next, we'll want to install the service provider for our Scout engine, our driver for Elasticsearch. Paste that in there. I'm going to include scout engines slash Elasticsearch slash Elasticsearch provider colon colon class. Put another comma because there are some more service providers that come after this. These installation instructions are also available on the GitHub repository for the driver that we're using. Once I've made this change, I'll save this. And next, we'll need to edit our scout config to tell it to use this Elasticsearch driver. In order to configure Laravel Scout, we're going to open the config slash scout .php file. We can see here the first configuration option is for default search engine, which by default is set to Algolia. What we'll want to do here is set this to Elasticsearch, which is the driver that we just installed. Next, what we'll need to do are configure some settings point to our Elasticsearch server in the index that we have created. In order to configure these settings, we're going to jump down to the end of the scout configuration file. We can see at the very bottom we have our Algolia configuration. That's the default search engine that Scout uses. We're not going to use that, so we're going to jump a couple lines below that. What I've just done is paste in a configuration 
comment about our Elasticsearch configuration in a block comment the same format as all the other comments in the file. I'll include all these configuration files with this video, so you can grab this comment if you'd like. What we'll do below that is to jump down a couple lines and add another entry for our Elasticsearch configuration. Within our Elasticsearch configuration, there are two things that we'll want to define. The first is our index. We'll use our environment to define our index. We can define Elasticsearch underscore index in our environment if we'd like to override this config. And we'll provide a default value of pets since that's the index that we have set up. The next thing we're going to want to configure here are our hosts. We have Elasticsearch installed on localhost. That's the server that's running our web site. So we'll use the environment again and configure Elasticsearch underscore host. And we'll provide a default value of http colon slash slash localhost. So if we don't configure anything in our environment, that'll look to our local server for our Elasticsearch instance. And just like that, we've got our Scout configuration file all set with everything that we need to edit. And it really was that simple. What we've done is go out and choose an open source Laravel Scout driver for Elasticsearch. We've installed that driver into our local Elasticsearch Laravel project. And we've configured that driver so we can start building our models and our views and our controller and start writing some code to use Laravel Scout to search the data that we're going to index in Elasticsearch.